If you're a diver like me that's carrying a lower leg injury or you've got problems using your legs whilst in the water, what you might be interested in is the Dive Booster from Aqua Beyond. How good's that? Hi, I'm Andy the North Diver and welcome to another episode in this series of scuba diving tutorials where I'll be going through the Dive Booster from Aqua Beyond. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button below and at the side of that you see the little bell icon. Not only will you be able to see all of our other content, but you'll also get a notification every time we post a new video. If you don't know how to do that, I'll post a little link up here that'll help you set up your own account so you can like, comment, and subscribe to any of the content that you see on YouTube. So I was introduced to this uh, by a friend of mine, Paul. He invested in the company as a startup a few years ago and he received the prototype just a few months ago. He's really pleased with it. I'm gonna trial it out this weekend You'll see the, the sort of in-water trials towards the end of this video. Um, but I'm going to just sort of run through a few facts and figures with you so you can sort of get a gauge of what it's, what it's about and, and who it's aimed at. So what the system is, is two sort of propellers that strap to your legs and an absolutely massive battery that's almost bigger than me, which to be fair is not very hard, at five foot and out. So um, that all straps to your kit and to your legs and allows you to sort of have hands free and legs just trailing wherever you want to, to propel you through the water. Now, looking at the system as a, as a quite accomplished diver, I think having good trim, so being quite flat on in the water, is the only way that this is gonna work for you. If you're sort of a seahorse position, or even more of an upright diver that does this weird cycling motion and manages to move forward, these are just gonna propel you up in the water column. So if you're quite flat, the way they strap to your legs, you'll continue to move sort of flat through the water. And it's got a quick release design, so as it's strapped to your legs, you've got these pinch clips. So this fastens to either the, the belt on your on your wing and harness or a weight belt if, you, if you're using a sort of normal BCD. And then the same sort of pinch clips and the sort of leg orientated. So I'd wear this on my right, that way, the, the, the front, so on the, on the top of your thigh, makes it so much easier. You've also got this sort of wrist mounted um, LED a battery state meter, so the light changes colour, so it starts on green, that's 100%, blue 75%, yellow's 50 and then it goes down to red for 25%, so it's time to sort of get yourself home and get it back on charge. And this beast, this monolith here, yeah, you've got a lithium ion battery that it takes a whopping seven hours to charge, but you can understand, you know, there's, there's quite a bit of power that that needs to be generated um, to give it the kind of usability that you've got, so, um, it's relatively easy to do, so you've got a top cap here that just unscrews. Right, so if you look in there, you can see there's a couple of pins, just a location lugs, there's the silver ones towards the sort of bottom of the picture, and just above that is a little uh, plug-in for the power charge. So the power cable just goes, gets locked in the top there, and then we've got like a, a little figure eight cable that plugs in there, and that plugs into your socket in the wall. Now that, like I said, initial charge is about seven hours to get it full which isn't so bad because one diving day, you're gonna get more than an hour run time because you're not gonna be using it on full air because why would you? So you'll come home, charge it at night and then good to go the next day. So they said they're gonna produce two versions of this. So the Pro, which is what I've got here and the sort of recreational one. So this is depth rated to 100 meters, which is pretty good. I mean, you can see why it's got two reasonable O-rings in there, which in, in the kit comes a little pot of um, silicon grease. I'd be an advocate of doing the threads as much as making sure them o-rings stay clean and there's no bits of paint or hair or beard trapped in there. But if you do the threads, because it's aluminium, rubbing on aluminium, certainly if you're in salt water, the, um, the anodization might just start to erode, uh, corrode a little bit and make operation really hard. So I'd be a big advocate of making sure you've got a bit of grease. Not too much, it attracts every bit of grainy sand on the beach to touch on there, but if you've got some, it's better than none in it. Um, and the recreational one, it's, it, these are sort of prototypes, but they're, they're aiming between 30 and 40 meters, which is actually bang on the money. In it. If you're gonna be a recreational diver, you're not gonna be diving below 40 meters ever. Or if you are, you may be a bit nuts. They're gonna retail these at between 500 and 1800. So I should imagine the recreational one's gonna be the cheaper version. It'll have a smaller battery um, and you know, the, the, the obviously the professional one, if there's one that needs, you know, 
a lot more money spending on it because it's got a lot more power to it and a lot more time in that battery. So um, it's a lithium iron battery. They're known for not having much memory when it comes to the, to charging and recharging, so they're really good on that. And they reckon the displacement's about four kilos. So if you, like me, have to carry four kilos, I've got two on a weight belt, two on my back plate, I could ditch all that. And once that's strapped on, much like you would do a pony cylinder, or if you side mount maybe, you can tuck it inside your wing or something like that, but certainly on a rebreather, mine's got these little bars down the back of the the, uh, the canister, so I can strap it on there um, really easily, keeps it nice and tidy. The one thing to maintain though is make sure as you're sort of fastening this up, firstly you locate the lugs, so those two on the plug, just turn that round, just push in quite easily, and it'll only locate in one position, so you just keep turning that, so it is nice and snug and that's in, and then you need to just make sure this is done up really tight, Yeah, that power engage then, so we know it's on. And then what we do, strap these to each leg, and then, so as you strap them on, you clip them up onto your weight belt or onto your harness or whatever, and they're in the right position. This I feed through my wing, mount it on my wrist, and get ready to get in the water, and then when you're ready, just turn it on, and off you pop. So, a couple of points to just take away from it then, it's four kilograms of displacement, so you can ditch four kilos of weight, it's, um, it's got a 60 minute run time on full power, so you've certainly got another at least half an hour, 40 minutes on, on a variable speed, because we don't fin throughout an entire dive, do we? It's quick release, so if you need to get it off, you can do, and you can certainly enjoy a much more scenic dive you can get around. I'd be aware of my surroundings though when using this, certainly. I make sure you've got no fingers in there when you turn it on, because you'll probably have them wazzed off and if you are one of these that likes kneeling on the bottom I'd certainly make sure I wouldn't engage that motor until you've moved off the bottom because all you're going to do is just end up in a big cloud of silt and mess and, and ruin not only your own visibility but that of other divers that might be coming through the site. So what we'll do now is we'll go and diving this weekend over at Wasswater in the Lake District so we'll take this for an in-water trial now and you'll be able to see the kind of speed. I'll do a, a dive on the surface, maybe with a snorkel so you can see just how fast on full power we can manoeuvre through the water. And then one of the lads, they'll put it on and they'll sort of go through the motions in the water so you can see just what it does. Hopefully this video has been of some use to you, if it has please give us a thumbs up and if you've got any comments or questions or queries about it, leave them in the comments box below, I'll always get back to you and if I can't answer the question I'll speak to the guy who's produced this and I'll get a proper answer for you. But if there's any other details that I can provide I'll put them in the descriptions below, that way you can see everything that this setup here can provide you and I'll see you on the next one, thanks for watching. See you on Insta.